Okay, here we have another screencast from DIYPCRepairs.net and this time we're going to be taking a look at System Restore within Vista uh, and this is Home Premium that we're running here. Um, now you may have seen the Windows 7 or the Windows XP um, screencast we've got of System Restore. Now System Restore within Windows Vista is very similar to XP um, to Windows 7. A few slight changes. The the biggest difference is the user account control within Vista is a little bit more keen on um, making sure that it's it's actually an authorized user that's running the system restore and not some outside force. Um, so it's not a big problem but it, it just pops up a few more prompts um, than we'll see in 7 and XP. So here we are on the desktop, and to to create the um, restore point, which is what we'll look at first, um, we go down to start and we left click on start, and then we want to go to computer, and then we right click on computer, which brings up the this other sub menu, and if you look down there, we've got properties. We left click on properties, and that opens up our system information page. Um, if you now look on the left hand side here we have a, a system protection link and if we left click on that this is where user account control uh, is, is is jumping in and just sort of validating who's running this um, it's sort of saying you look we're going to be making system changes here I need to know who you are um, we're fine with that we just click on continue um, now you see that the System Properties dialog box has opened up and it's opened from the System Protection tab. Um, there's a little bit of information on System Restore on this link here, um, disk space and what have you. Um, below that we've got a System Restore button to, to actually do the rollback. Now there's also another way of, of um, implementing the System Restore once we've created the Restore point. Um, um, we'll have a look at that once we've once we've completed this first task. Um, and below here we've got the the automatic restore points. This is this is the, the part of the system that System Restore is looking at and keeping an eye on. Uh, and when we do create a System Restore point, it's this drive here, or any of the drives. I mean, you, you may have extra drives, more partitions, and they'll all be listed here. Um, most of the time. Um, you, you need to do the system restore on C and that is a default as well Windows once you've installed Windows it defaults um, to C but if you ever have any trouble that system restore isn't running again we come into this dialog box and we make sure that the ticks are in the appropriate boxes for the drives that we want to um, create the restore point of um, and below that we have the uh, the create button now Windows will automatically create system restores when it's doing major even major any any system changes itself such as um security fixes from windows on the up, you know windows update um if you install certain software it'll do system restores um but when we're actually changing the system ourselves and we're, we're going to we're actually going to be making changes it's always best to to manually create the restore point before you do anything with your system that way if we have any trouble we can roll back um, to before we uh, we made the changes and uh, and get ourselves out of any trouble that the um, system changes as as, as sort of landed us in. Um, so if we click on create, we'll get a dialog box up asking for a a title for the restore point, um, and I'm just going to call it test um, test restore. And then we simply click on create. Now this is going to create the restore point. Now this can take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your system, um, such as CPU, how much RAM you're running in there, um, and also how big the system is, how big a, a, a drive partition or number of drives that it's now actually looking at. Um, so we'll just let this do its thing. Okay, so the system's now created the restore point and it's now telling us that the restore point was created successfully. Click OK. Click OK again from there 
and shut that and that's it that's our restore point created um, so now what we'll do is we'll have a look at actually rolling back to that restore point and how we actually go about doing that so again desktop we'll look at the other way of accessing the system restore and this is the the system restore that I'll use to, to roll the system back um, and we go down to start left click and then left click on all programs and then we're going to be looking for the accessories folder which is there so we we'll left click on that and then scroll down a little bit we'll have a folder called system tools we want to left click on that and that will open up a few system tools that we'll be looking at on later um, screencasts but for now we want to be looking for system restore so left click system restore and again user account control has jumped in because we're making system specific changes and it just wants to to validate who we are and we click continue and you will see the system restore dialog box um, now here we've got the undo um, and that's basically because before I did this screencast I ran through it and it's it's given us the undo um, if you get the undo system restore you can roll back any previous restore points you did um, but if you don't want to roll back to the time before the restore we can also go down to this radio button here and choose a different restore point I tend to use this one anyway because it gives us more choice um, and this will now list all the restore points because Windows will always uh, recommend one um, but it's always better if you know when the problem started or you know it, it started you know a week ago two weeks ago um, you can look down the list to a time before you think the problem first arose and click that. Windows doesn't always know when that problem started so it may recommend a restore point that was all created two days ago and you you know two days ago you were still having that problem um, so always you know if you have a little bit of an idea when the problem started come into this part of the system restore look down the list and click as near a time to it as you possibly can uh, and try that restore point. If that doesn't fix it from then just, just drop back a restore point you know um, until you you get to a point that the system hasn't got the problem um, but for now we're gonna click on our test restore that we created and then click next um, this is just going to confirm the restore point that we've picked the date and the time that it's rolling back to um, and you see the date and the time that we've just done that uh, and then down here we've just got system restore we'll restart your computer apply these changes um, before you proceed save uh, any open files and close all programs so you just basically just want system restore running at the point that you're gonna you're gonna do the restore and once you've made sure that you've saved everything and everything's closed down we click on finish it's gonna give us one more warning um, that you can't interrupt um, if you if you're doing this on a laptop uh, make sure you've got power you know you, you don't want to be losing battery power part way through this restore um, so make sure you plug in full power on, um, not running on battery. Um, we click yes. We're not going to interrupt it. And again, this could take a little bit of time depending on your system and how much it's having to restore. Um, but again, we just leave it to do its thing. Okay, the system's now going to shut down and reboot, um, and you'll get the the little message there telling you to to wait while Windows have been restored. Okay, once the system has restarted, we'll see a dialog box telling us that the restore was completed successfully. Um, and it's been restored to the date and time that we chose. Um, just click on close, and, and that's it. Okay, so that's using system restore within Windows Vista. Uh, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.